Good evening everyone, this is Stuart from Vegan Beach. Just uh, wanted to give you a quick look at something that I'm about to enjoy. It's very, very simple, very easy to, to make and to uh, put together, very quick as well. So this is uh, a raw vegan salad, um, but as you can probably tell there's no lettuce or tomato in this one. I mean normally I have lettuce and tomato with everything, including some bell peppers and some uh, mung beans and alfalfa sprouts and so many other ingredients I love to put in but this one is defrosted peas so just uh, go to the freezer section in your supermarket purchase a 500 gram or a one kilo uh, bag of uh, frozen peas let them defrost for a couple of hours or run them under some hot water to uh, defrost them and then put them in a large bowl like this and there you have a, a complete meal now I've added some uh, red chili pepper because I, I just have the habit of putting red chili pepper with everything. I absolutely love it. And I've read online it does increase your uh, uh, your metabolism a little bit. How, how much of that is true I don't know, but um, personally I just love the taste. I mean I, I just love red chili pepper with everything. But when you're starting out on a raw vegan diet, you probably won't want the, <laughs> that much red chili pepper. You might just want to grind in some um, some black peppercorns. Now I have got some uh, black pepper that I could put into this. I've got some uh, onion powder or some garlic powder I could add. I've also got um, some avocado that I could put in. But just this meal on its own, like it is, is really, really healthy and I love the taste of it. And um, I really enjoy it. So that's something I'll probably just eat as it is. Now something I've been snacking on, I'll, I'll give you a quick look. Is I've got some uh, lovely ladyfinger bananas. I don't know what they're called in your part of the world, but um, here in Australia they're called ladyfinger bananas. And as you can see, these ones are quite ripe. They've got some brown spots and markings on them. And I've had about three uh, already today, and they were just so nice. Uh, not not just the fact that they're, they're ripe and ready to eat, but their tastes are really sweet, and uh, I really enjoy them. So. If you're going to have fruit um, and then something like uh, a salad, perhaps have your fruit, wait half an hour to an hour, have some water, and then have your salad. I mean, you could probably mix the two of them, but um, sometimes combining your foods in the correct combination can help with digestion and uh, remove, <laughs> reduce gas. <laughs> Not everybody likes to talk about that subject, but uh, it is a... Uh, an important subject to make sure that you're not, uh, you're not that you are feeling your best and not feeling uh, uh, unwell. So thanks very much for watching. Please click the uh, little red subscribe button. Uh, put down below in the comments section what you prefer as a salad. What ingredients you'd add to to this? Would you have peas? Do you like red chili pepper? I mean, I absolutely love red chili pepper. But do you like red chili pepper? Uh, would you always need to have lettuce and, and tomato? I mean, I normally do. As I mentioned, but uh, today it's just wonderful peas. So thanks again for watching. Please share this with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.